welcome guys yeah in this video i'm actually going to be showing you how to build a complete professional contact form using the free version of elementor yeah using elementor the free version you don't need elementor pro for this tutorial in this video i will be showing you how to build it from scratch and also how to use free template for contact forms with elementor and then also how to configure your form settings so that it can deliver directly to your gmail or to whichever custom email you desire your form to be sent to so if you are interested in learning how to build a flexible form with elementor so that you can edit the in and out of it then this video is for you so yeah if you are just seeing my channel for the first time this is jiggling tech world and this channel will create helpful videos regarding web design and other online technicalities so you can check out my other videos on my channels to see how to build professional website and how to find business dive with me right as we start creating our professional form using elementor so the reason why most people actually uh want to use elementor to create their professional form is because most forms that we have like contact form seven wp forms have um they are very very limited in flexibility and what that means is that there's little to nothing to, uh, that you can do to edit those forms created with those plugins and that is why elementor is one of the best uh uh plugin to build website and to also create form because you have control over the editing the customization and everything so guess it guys as we start creating our form all right guys yeah so now first we will create our professional form using elementor so now let's just go to our wordpress dashboard so right now my i'm on my wordpress dashboard so i'm going to install uh some couple of plugins to enable this now let's go to add new plugins so i'm just going to open it in a new tab like this so as you already know we need to install elementor since we'll be using elementor to create our contact form so i'm going to install so in this video we will only be using the elementor free version to create this form because um you know i already told uh, i told you we, there are two ways in which you can create forms using Elementor. You either use Elementor Pro or the free version. So now, if you are using the free version, originally the form doesn't come with the plugin itself. So we need to install an add on. So now let's go back to plugins and add new plugin here. So now the name of the add on we're going to install to make us to be able to create a professional form with Elementor is called Mate Form. So, so so just search for met form here so this is it right here so i'm just going to install it and then activate so now that we have installed and activated met form it's very very simple so um now there are two ways in which we can actually set up our form with this uh, plugin called met form so now let's go to pages and see what page we have so this is a new wordpress website so i don't have any page yet so i'm just going to add a new page so i'm going to call it home so then i'm going to click on publish so you know we need to add a page so that we can add our form there so let me close this so now let's head it with elementor so i'm just going to close this right here so now we can come here to settings here page settings so we can change the page layout to Elementor for it so we can get rid of this home that is there. Then we can publish. So to create our form with Elementor, now that we've installed Met Form, all you have to do is just come here to where we have search widget 
and search for mate form as you can see we already have it here because uh ordinarily um the widget has been added under uh, it is actually the last widget that you have here so this is it here under element so you can also just search for it like we did right now next form so once you've searched for it you have to do just drag it in your set container or whatever you want to drag it to so now that we have dragged it so let's create our form so to create our form just come here where it says edit form so i'm just going to click on edit form so now you need to name your form so what would be the name of our form so let me just say um the, uh, whatever you can name it any name so i am just going to name it new form you can name it whatever depending on what you want to use the form for for example if the form is meant for contact like the contact form you can just name it contact form something like that so now that we've named it now one thing about made form is that there are templates that you can use so you can decide to create your form blank like um that means you just have to um create it from scratch or you can decide to use a uh, template like we have here so but what i normally do is um i would prefer to teach you how to do it blank so that you can create it from scratch so once you're able to create it from scratch it will be easier for you to be able to use any template and manipulate it since you already know how it works so now i'm going to click on blank template create from scratch so just select it so once you have selected because anyone you select do you see so just select it then you click on edit form so right now this is our form so now to create your first form with met form it's very very simple what i have to do is scroll down as you can see we have the met form elements here so all of the all of the elements that you see here actually belongs to met form until the layout and the basics so you can play around each one of them but for this video we'll actually be using this following form so now let's first of all create our um first name and last name so now to do that i'll just come here to my container i'm going to add um two column container so something like this i'm going to add two column container so this is meant for first name and then um last name so i'm just going to click on hard element so you can search for it first you see first name listing drag it here and then you can also search for last name last name listing then drag it here it is as simple as that so now this is um the first name and the, the last name so now let's create a new container so now in this container we're going to have email and phone number so now let me show you how to do that so now this email just going to drag it here and then i'm going to add another one so that is going to be for the phone number so this number here so just drag it um i'm going to drag it under this so first name last name email phone number so um do you get it so that's how to add um this um form so and then the next thing i want to add is um the uh, message so for anybody that needs a message so now let me scroll down and search for text anybody that wants to message us so for me to add a text here so i think i'm just so i'm just going to drag it here so do you see so now let's see how it looks like now so this is how our form looks like so now i've added a text here so so I'm, I'm going to show you how to customize everything don't worry so then the last thing we need is our submit button of which this is it submit button so you can drag it here so then um, um put it by the left 
so we have our form so it's very very simple as you can see it's so fast and we have created our first form so now let me publish it and see how it's going to look like now so now that i've published it you might not be able to see it yet so i think our page is going to be slash home so this is it as you can see the form has not yet showed so now let me now we're going to click on update and close do you see so now let's publish it so now let me reload the page so now do you see this is our form so our form is now showing so um now the i think what next uh, what we need to do now is to customize our form so now let me show you how to customize everything that we have here so that you can edit your form so now let's go back to edit form so once you click on edit form it's going to show to you your form so assume you have created more than one form so once you click on this drop down it's going to list all of those forms but because we still have only one form that's why you only have the new form here so we're going to click on edit form so right now what we're going to do is now let's come to this first form here the first name listing so now normally we know we don't want to add listing was so then let's remove listing so we have removed it so now we have label and we have placeholder so now this um this one is for your placeholder and your label this one at the top and this is for the placeholder now let us edit the placeholder so i'm just going to delete this listing so as you can see the listing is consumable so but for me i usually prefer to go with the uh, placeholder so I usually prefer to go with the placeholder. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come here and then remove all of the label that we have here. So and then come to email as well. I'm going to remove the label. So I'm going to just leave it or just leave only the placeholder. So then the text here as well. I'm going to remove it. So right now let us style our form so now this is our form the first thing you need to know is under content here we have the label the placeholder then we have settings so now under settings you can either choose to make the form required or not so now when you're on this when you switch this it's going to make sure your form is um required and that is where we have this little star here so meaning that nobody can submit this form without filling this first name that we have here so we can you can also make all of the um, field to be required as well so you can come here as well let's go to settings so i'm going to require it so now let me remove the um, listing that we have here as well yeah so now let us style our form so i'm going to under this now i'm going to come to first name i'm going to go to style so now under style i want this placeholder to uh, be much more revealing because if you should publish it right now and come to your page you see the first name is not very very um glaring so it's not showing very well so i'm going to come here so now go to style then look for place holder yeah so then you can do you see the color that we have currently so i want the color to be much more dark so as you can see it's now showing very well so if i should publish this right now and then come here and reload as you can see it is now showing so now the next thing i want to do is i want to change the font style so i'm going to come to typography right here so i'm going to change it from roboto to um to sense so about sense so i'm going to change it to about sense so um, then the next thing i want to do is um i want to the line the border of this um fields are not showing very well as you can see they are not showing very well so i'm going to increase their color so i'm going to come to input here 
so you can definitely come to input then the input color here means the the color of whatever the type for example this is the input color so if i should change it now let's let's change it to something like red and let me update now let me reload yeah so this is not actually the one you are going to change after all so if you want to change what displays here so it's actually when we come to focus so now whatsoever we change it to here it should actually reflect now so let me reload so that's how to change what whatever color it wants um the typing should come it to should come with so i'm just going to return it i don't want it to have the color so what i want to do right now is um i want to make sure it is revealing i'm going to come to border type then i'm going to come to solid so i'm going to come back to normal then um, i'm going to border type should be solid then uh, the color should be black one pixels now let's see now it's showing so if i should publish it here and reload it so it should show now so now as you can see it's now showing so that's how to actually um give it a color so one thing one thing i actually like about this form is that once you are done with the styling all you have to do is just have to style just one uh, field after styling one field you can apply the styling to every other field now this is what i mean so you can just copy this down copy then come here and then paste down then all of them will start getting the styling immediately including the text area so that's how it works so now let me publish and let us reload so that's how it works it's as simple as this so but normally i would prefer to there's a way i usually love to style my form so i'm just going to do that very quickly now so now let me use this as an example the last name we have styled we started with the first name so now let's use last name now so now what i want to do is um number one the required this required here i usually love it to be closed so one thing i can do is just come to style then you go to under label this required indicator i can just uh, reduce the trans increase the transparency so it's not going to show any longer so it can look like this so i can do the same for this as well so now let me show you my styling so now what i want to do is i'm going to come to input here so i will just remove the border i don't need it so well, instead of border what i use is box shadow something like this so now let me adjust it so the first thing i do is uh, i reduce the transparency increase the transparency of whatever book shadow i'm using so i prefer to use something like a um, bluish color so then um yeah something like this so now what i can do is let me re reduce the, uh, let me increase the transparency the more so that it's it looks minimal so stuff like this so then for the 
approval effect or probably the focus effect so you can just come here so i'll just change the border type to solid then the color would be blue border color should be blue so meaning that once they click on this the border color should display and once they click out the border color should disappear so that's how i do it so then you can copy this as so well, paste it everywhere else yeah now you can see how beautiful our form looks like now so now the next thing i want to do is um, um probably you want to add a border to your form stuff like that so now what i would love to do is i usually love to add a kind of like a border to my form so i can do that here by coming to section here so go to style on that border here so you can just come here to solid then border width can add probably just just three pixels so you can make the border color to be blue then you can publish it so now let's reload and see how it's going to look like so now as you can see we have our form created with a border so depending on your creativity you can actually create various version of this form design it so now this let me show you the second way we are actually going to create this form because um so now the second way to create forms with made form is that you can come to your made form here so now let's go to forms so do is it's going to tell us to actually do some settings so now let's quickly do that so all you have to do is just come here click on next it's not compulsory just click on next next just next everything next save changes so once you are done you can just come back to your forms now this is the form we created from our home page as you can see it has been stored here so that whenever you want to edit it again you can come here to edit it with elemental from here then it will take you directly to the form editing page uh, like the one we just exist exited right now so, so we're going to take you back here where you can edit the form or you can go back to your home page and then edit the form right here as well so now we can also create a new form from here as well so now let's add a new form from here so you can enter your form name so this time around i can just say contact form so now this time around let's go with a template so i'm just going to go with this first template here so i'm going to click on edit form can go with any template of your choice so far it is under the free template so and you can easily edit your form right from here so i've already shown you how to customize the form so this should be much more easier for you and mind you this form here is actually in a section mode not in container mode so it's also very simple as well so now depending on what you want you can also decide to leave it for example like this one now had email is very very good so you can do whatever you want with this form so now this recapture here needs a, a particular kind of setting of which i will not be able to cover in this video well i'm actually going to cover the recapture video uh, very soon so 
so now i'm going to click on update and close so now as you can see the form has been successfully created so if you should view the form it's going to show so now this is a form that we have created how do we add it to our page since we did not create it right from inside our page where we can easily see it like we have in our home page right now so it's very very simple i'm going to show you that so i have to do this let's assume we have a let's go and create a contact page so i'm just going to add new page here so i'm going to name it i don't need this so i'm just going to name it um contact So I'm just going to publish it immediately. Then let's edit it with Elementor. So all we want to do is we want to add this form that we created here to this contact page, and it's very simple. So to do that, we'll be using what we call the short code. So for each form that you created, either in a page in Elementor or right from here and it's usually a short code just like we have for the first one we created so now the for this one all you have to do is just come here right here and then copy this short code copy then come to so now let's get rid of this contact let me come to settings page layout we're going to change it to elemental full width So I'm going to add a new element. So now let's search for short code. I'm going to drag it here. So I'm going to paste the short code that we copied. So it's going to automatically show our form. So now let me pop. So I'm going to preview it. So now let's see our contact page. As you can see, the form has been automatically added to our contact page, and people can easily come to our form submit their info then then they can send their message so now you see it's required recapture is required so because we have not yet enabled our recapture so you can just easily come here right now then i can delete the recapture i can click on publish so now let me reload and let us fill our form send message thank you form submitted successfully so now the next thing we want to do is the form settings how to set the form to deliver um so that when visitor submits forms on your website can be delivered straight to your inbox your gmail or whatever email you want to use so we're going to do that right now so now let's come back to our dashboard so but before we set our email that will actually be receiving the uh, messages we need to come here to entries so under entries you have all of the people that has actually submitted your form including the form name so the particular form of which they filled and then so if you want to check their info you can come here to view as you can see this is the exact info of what i filled such that even if the form was unable to deliver to your gmail you can still find it here but normally i'm going to show you how to make sure your all of your forms are delivering to your gmail or your custom email address so and even if you do not have your gmail custom email address you can always come here to come and see it and you can also download it as a csv format just come to forms here as you can see export csv so it can export for you all of the information of everyone that has ever filled the form but if you want those information submitted to your gmail directly it is very very simple so all you have to do is just come to contact form here or oh, sorry 
come to edit so you can do these settings for in each individual forms so now let's come to let's come to the one we created from scratch so just come to new forms here edit so now you need to come to notification so as you can see it is not activated yet so now we're going to switch it on so now email subject so the this email subject is the message uh, subject you're going to receive in your gmail so in my own case i can just say new form from my website so that i can know where it is from so if it is the contact form i can just say contact form from my website so i can know that it is uh, the contact form that was that was submitted so now email to so i want it to be submitted to my gmail yeah so that for it to be for you to be able to have it submitted to your gmail there's there are two things you need to do now so now i have put in my gmail so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to come here to the name of my website here so i'm just going to copy this this url so i'm going to paste it here so then you're going to put in info info at the name of your website.com so don't worry even if you have not yet created this custom email it doesn't mean it's just that the way metform works is that it needs um the email from and the email reply to to have a uh, to have or uh, to be a custom email even if it exists or not so just follow what i'm doing and you get results so that's it so the admin note is not compulsory so these are the things you need to do so now you can click on save changes and if you also want the form to submit to more than one gmail address you can just put in comma then you put the next gmail address you want it to submit to probably info so you want it to submit to your gmail and to your custom email so then you can click on save changes so right now let's go and um submit our form then go back to our home page we reload then let's fill in our info so let me put a separate email address submit button so now let's go to our gmail it has delivered so so this is it so my blog because i have not uh, that is the name of uh, the website you know we have not actually set our website name from here because you know wordpress if you are just installing wordpress it comes with my blog so when you set up the name of your website here yeah, it's going to be the one to display a new form for my website do you remember where we set it so then let's open it up as you can see so guys that is exactly how to create and um configure your contact form using um elementor and then met form add-on so that's how to do it so now i'm going to be dropping another video that will show you how to use elementor pro to create um the form i'm also going to be dropping another video that will cover the recapture and other stuff about met form so just stay tuned you can also check out my other helpful videos on my channel and learn how to build professional website so if you have gained anything from this video guys kindly do me a favor of liking this video subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell button so that you'll be notified each time i drop helpful videos like this guys thank you and see you in my next video